Hello everyone, this is Bobby at Copality Beauty Pair with a <clears throat> hopefully helpful video about how to salvage a, an LG 60PX950 plasma television uh, from the junkyard uh, because it starts with nothing on the screen. Now, uh, there are a number of things that go bad in this TV. Uh, one of them is the power supply board, there's a well-known issue, power supply boards can be found on eBay. We should be offering a repair service for those, I don't know if we've listed it yet, but it's fixable. Uh, there are boards out there, and uh, when the power supply board is bad, the TV just clicks, doesn't want to start up. I am going, oh, there's also a known issue with the main board, which sometimes, uh, it, it can cause various issues, one of them being the one that I'm going to be talking about today, but not about the main board. The, the issue that I'm going to be talking about is when the uh, frame rate converter board goes bad or frame accelerator. Um, there is a version of that TV, uh, I believe 60 PK. Let me go and see which one it was. Uh, 60 PK 750 which is pretty much the same TV, same sustain boards, uh, same power supply, same panel, uh, but it doesn't have the accelerator. And uh, this one does have this frame rate accelerator, thanks to which it can go as high as 240 hertz, I believe. I don't really remember, I may be wrong on that one. But this board tends to go bad, it cannot be found on eBay as of today and in the past uh, few weeks. And um, it can be bought by LG. We had a local technician who bought two from LG and neither of them worked. The BGAs go bad on those and uh, reflowing does not help. They have to be replaced and they're out of boards. And, you know, people throw out TVs because of that where there is a much simpler solution. This is a seven, eight year old TV. I don't know which year is the panel here, 2010. So seven, eight year old. And a simple solution is to just bypass that accelerator. As you can see, there is nothing connected here. Uh, you don't see well, but it is being bypassed. This is the output, which normally goes. This is the output of the video accelerator, uh, which normally goes to the plasma logic board for that TV, which is right now down. Instead, you bypass both the plasma logic and the video accelerator and you replace them uh, with the uh, plasma logic board from the other model, from the 60PK750 that I showed you. The board number uh, that you're looking for is EBR6345-0301. And with a little bit of a hackery on the cables, this one come, I don't know, it's a 51 pin cable, make sure it's 51, not 50 inch. And you gotta do some alignment so that it, it goes on both sides. This cable came from, honestly, I don't know what TV, probably some LCD or something else. We have hundreds of those from disassembled TVs. We just picked one that was long enough. This is hanging here on one screw. We're gonna improve that. Uh, we'll do some uh, heat dissipation for that processor. And the net result is a TV that works like this. Uh, the, the plasma logic board can be found on eBay. We bought this one for like 30 bucks. And I'm sure they will go extinct as well. But it's a nice way to save a TV from the junkyard and you can get several more years because sustain boards don't go bad on it. Um, and it has a great picture. Now the, the frame rate will be lower but you hardly care about that at this point. So hopefully this helps somebody uh, save money, save TV, uh, save junkyards, and uh, good luck in your reverse.